Okay, Springdale uh, dry cleaners in Cincinnati, Ohio. They are mm -hmm. going. This picture of their of their hanger with a, uh, an anti-choice message on it is going viral on the internet. What's the story there? So. Um What's interesting is, of course, they've gotten a lot of backlash for this in, in you know, the recent day. Um, and I can understand that. But, you know, I was kind of thinking, I was having a discussion with Jane Huger, the host of the Young Turks, about why they would do this. And he was under the assumption that, well, maybe it's a religious business and they didn't really think about it before they did it. But it turns out that they've done this for two or three years now. And I I'm not really sure why the story has come up again, but it's so disgusting to bring back that imagery. You know, this is no mistake. They know exactly what they're doing. And in my opinion, something like that, something that brings back, uh, you know, the imagery of back alley abortions uh, would probably convince people to vote against legislation that would take us back to the 1950s. Yeah, that's the thing, because when I, when I see a coat hanger with an image that says, choose life, and I know the statistics, which is that if, if abortion is, is safe and legally accessible, you reduce the number of those back alley abortions, as do you by having access to birth control. This is almost really a pro-choice message in spite of the intentions of the owners. I think it's a pro-choice message for people that really sit down and think about it. Right. But at the same time, I think that, you know, the... the patrons of that dry cleaner probably, uh, you know, still the people that support that message probably don't think that deep into it. Um, and I think that it does bring up the very serious topic of what will happen to women if you do make it um, difficult to access a safe abortion. I mean, look at Mississippi right now. They literally have one clinic uh, that uh, offers abortions. And unfortunately, they have this new law that would force them to get admitting privileges from hospitals. And a lot of the hospitals there are um, conservative and very right wing, and they don't grant the admitting privileges. So that one abortion clinic in Miss uh, Mississippi is probably going to shut down. So what's going to happen to uh, people or women in Mississippi that need to get an abortion? Either because they're in poverty or in an abusive relationship or they got raped. I mean, they're going to go to extreme measures. So what the dry cleaner uh, did in this case brings back horrible, violent imagery. And I think for anyone who sits down and really thinks about it, uh, they'll realize how important it is to have access to abortions here in the U.S. And not to mention that we just did a story, I think it was a week or two ago, that it studied the, uh, the, the outcomes of women one year after having been denied an abortion versus women who were able to get an abortion when they determined that they wanted one. Women denied abortions way more likely to be unemployed, way more likely to be sucking up those government resources, as we hear from the right, uh, uh, whether it be food stamps or, or welfare, so on and so forth. So it's very clear that there are significant long-term effects to not having access to legal and safe abortions. They're just the opposite of what conservatives presume to want. Absolutely. I mean, last year alone, we spent, the government spent $11 billion on unwanted pregnancies, which is part of the reason why President Obama wanted to make birth control accessible uh, to everyone that wants birth control. Um, and, you know, of course, Republicans are against that. And what I love is the whole pro-choice message. It's like, we're going to force you to have that baby under any and all circumstances. I know that some make exceptions, but you know, the staunch right wingers in Congress right now don't care about rape. They don't care about incest. If you get pregnant, it doesn't matter. You're going to have the baby. You mean the anti-choice, the anti-choice message. The anti-choice message. Right, I right. love the, I think that that's excellent framing. I should use it more often, but yeah, you're right. And, and as soon as that baby is born, well, what do you mean federal money? Why are you, you know, these welfare recipients? We should drug test them, these horrible people. <laughs> let's, let's cut funding for food stamps. I mean, it's just despicable behavior. And that's not what pro-life pro, uh, or anti-abortion uh, is really about. If you're really pro-life, then you would want to support those babies after they're born, after forcing their mother to have them. No question about it. All right, Anna Kasparian, co-host of The Young Turks, Monday through Friday on Current TV. I think I have this right. It's 7 p.m. Eastern on Current and then 9 p.m. Yep. Eastern at theyoungturks.com and on YouTube. Is that right? Yes, correct. Awesome. Thanks for joining us, Anna. Thank you, David.